Well, I forgot to tilt the right way. Hmm. See how the forks were? No wonder it fell that way. You guys just missed it. Just like me. A day late and a dollar short. We take you guys every day that we work in the wood yard. You're with us. Every single day. Sticks has a two day release schedule. So, I don't know. That's all. That ain't it got nothing to do with us. But you guys are with us this whole journey. Every time we're out here doing it, you're with us. You watch this thing come from nothing. Pulling out sticks in a trash pile. <laughs> the phone been ringing a little bit. People looking for our wood. They're going to love our wood. <laughs> Mosquito Alley, we're there. We sold some slabs for throwing axes at. Never would have thought of that one. I did, but then I forget, then you remember, then you forget. So that's why you got to write stuff down. But now we remember. Check it out. The customer requested between three and four inches. Some are four and a quarter on some spots. Did our best to cut them and keep them straight. This is a result of a bad raker. I think I took a little too much off. <laughs> you live and you learn. That's why you guys are here with us. So, next time Chuck tells me, hey, the rakers are, are too tall, I got to dial down the rakerness a little bit. A little less, fraction of a second, just I got a little greedy, not gonna lie. Of course it's on the big giant 32 inch bar, so it's like Well, enough of that. So we got the rest of the pallet deal. It turned out to be 325 pallets for 175 bucks. That's what it was. So, this is the last load of them. All the other pallets went over to the store where the retail is. These pallets are going to come down here so we can build more dance floors for uh, stocking and seasoning our wood. What flavor wood do you want? Today, after we get done all this boo-ha-ha, -ha, we're gonna fly up onto the hill and buck again. Day six, seven. There. We have left, we have been going for, I don't know, like nine days, eight days, in, in and out, in and out. Uh, we had some concrete we were pouring. We got to eat. We got to eat right now. So the wood is not there <laughs> currently at the time to uh, keep running the, the old homestead. So stumps hook us up and we got some concrete work. We do flat work too. We don't want to. No, we don't want to. And it ain't perfect, but we do our best. I, we do what we do in life what i do in life i'll tell you that this is my motto if i'm going to do something for you if i'm going to work on something for you i'm going to do it the same way that i would do it on my own thing and if i think that piece of firewood's too big or too quirky and i wouldn't want it or i wouldn't say that that's i would burn it yes i'm, I'm very easy but I wouldn't want my, no, I wouldn't want that as for my customer. I've had people call us for mobile log splitting. I went out there, I looked at this big gigantic pile of rounds they have there, and I tell them, I'm sorry, I cannot help you, hon. They say, why, what's wrong? It's rotted. It's not good anymore. You know what I mean? That's the problem. It's a lot of work, splitting firewood, moving that wood around, cutting them logs, bringing them rounds, and if you ain't doing it manually, like us, then you're using big half a million dollar machines and big fancy processors and this and that. But hey, I'm here to show you and everybody else in the world that the normal little guy, beep, 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 
beep, beep, beep, beep, beep, beep, beep, can do it and keep up with the big dogs. Because this little dog got big teeth. And, well, one, and we coming for you, big dogs. Oh, yeah, the little guy. So come with us. Follow us during this journey. This is going to get intense. We straight up split wood and rounds and wrestle that logs at almost 50. Yeah, yeah. We're going to keep doing it. Keep getting it. Right, Chug? Hey, man. I might look pity, but that's just the consequences of a hard life. <laughs> Stay with it. Yeah, cat daddy. Chug, you dumped over the pallets. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the most smooth operator. These aren't the most smooth pallets either. They're too smooth. They ain't gonna be fun, and ain't gonna be easy. We gotta tackle these monsters today. Giants, and we're dingoless. Dingoes broke down. Bearings in the front wheel, all gone. All of a sudden, 370 hours deep. Had hoses explode, had hoses blow uh, off. Um, the wheel fell off in the back. Now the wheel on the front's falling off. Dang. Wow. All right, stay tuned. We're going to do that by hand. I ain't got no machine today. And we got to get this pile out of the way. We got to get them logs moved. So I'm waiting for the phone call, find out where the bearing is, if we, where we got to do. Bye, buddy. Peace. Update again. Ah, son, we're not bucking anymore. Right now.
we got to go down there and look at this dingo. I called the dealership. They said, bring it on up here. It could take three to five days, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So me and Chug talked. We called Sticks. Sticks said that we got the big strawberry queen job coming up. That's 16 acres that we got to cut down, log the wood out, bring it back to the yard here, bucked up into eight foot pieces. And we're going to need that dingo top notch. It's got to be ready for that task. So I think we're going to end up having to take it all the way up to hump hump land and drop it off. Probably. I don't know. We're going to go pop the thing off and take a look at it. Hopefully it may be the tensioner. Like tighten it up, the wheel gets tight. I doubt it, but maybe. We're going to go find out. That's like an hour and 20 minute ride. Uh, uh, there it is. Well, I'll show you what, what it's doing. I'll give you a close up. It don't seem like much, but when you're moving thousand pounds. She got to go. All right. Well, until next time, keep banging. Keep looking up. We got to look up. We got to be positive. We got to go forward. It's got to get fixed. Roll out. Decepticons. May no Autobots here.